In the late 1960, the United States Navy embarked on a grand endeavor. They yearned for a weapon, a missile of unparalleled precision and range, capable of being launched from naval platforms to strike distant targets with unwavering accuracy. Thus, the journey towards creating the mighty Tomahawk missile began. Under the banner of the Harpoon Missile Program, the U.S. Navy joined forces with esteemed defense contractors like General Dynamics and Hughes Aircraft Company, driven by the need to replace their outdated anti-ship missiles. They dreamed of a weapon that would surpass its predecessors, minimizing risk for its operators while maximizing impact on the enemy. The path was not without its challenges. They faced difficulty in miniaturizing guidance systems, integrating complex technologies, and ensuring reliable propulsion for long-range missions. By the early 1970s, the Harpoon missile program had evolved and the focus shifted to developing a versatile and multi-purpose cruise missile. This new missile was designated as the Tomahawk Land Attack Missile, a versatile weapon capable of striking not only ships but also land-based targets. The Navy desired flexibility and the Tomahawk was their answer. The development of the Tomahawk missile proceeded through rigorous iterations and technological breakthroughs. Early versions were subsonic, utilizing a combination of inertial navigation systems and radar for guidance. But the visionaries sought more. They yearned for a missile that could traverse vast distances with unerring precision. Through tireless effort, they incorporated advanced digital navigation systems, GPS, and terrain contour matching technology, which allowed the missile to navigate over long distances by comparing its radar images of the terrain with preloaded maps. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, the Tomahawk missile underwent further refinements, including increased range, improved accuracy, and enhanced capabilities for penetrating enemy air defenses. It became a symbol of power, adaptability, and lethal force. From reconnaissance to striking high-value targets, the Tomahawk was an invaluable asset in the ever-changing theater of war. The Tomahawk missile gained significant attention during major military operations, including the Gulf War in 1991 and subsequent conflicts. Its long-range precision strike capabilities proved highly effective in engaging targets from a safe distance and minimizing collateral damage. Yet the story did not end there. The Tomahawk missile continued to evolve, incorporating cutting-edge technologies such as improved guidance systems, better target recognition, and network-centric warfare capabilities. These advancements have increased the missile's effectiveness and expanded its operational range. But how does Tomahawk compare to modern hypersonic missiles? In order to address the question, it is crucial to grasp the nature of hypersonic missiles. In essence, hypersonic missiles are cutting-edge offensive weapons that lack nuclear capabilities, yet excel in their remarkable velocities, surpassing five times the speed of sound. They predominantly navigate through the Earth's atmosphere during their flight trajectory and aim to exhibit exceptional maneuverability and the ability to swiftly engage targets positioned thousands of miles away, typically within a time frame of 15 to 30 minutes. Another notable characteristic that sets hypersonic missiles apart is their dependence on aerodynamic control surfaces such as tail fins or wings which enable gliding and maneuvering capabilities resembling those of an aircraft, as opposed to utilizing thrusters similar to a spacecraft. The presence of air is vital for the optimal functioning of these control surfaces, underscoring the requirement for hypersonic missiles to operate within the atmosphere in order to execute precise and agile maneuvers. To achieve the optimum performance of hypersonic missiles, several fundamental challenges must be addressed. The impact of intense heating at hypersonic speeds on design cannot be overlooked, necessitating the utilization of materials capable of enduring extreme temperatures. Thermal shielding plays a vital role as air compression and drag generate substantial heat, 
demanding structural materials that can withstand such conditions. Moreover, stability and maneuverability are hindered by shock waves and thin shock layers. Maneuvers also increase drag and thermal load, ultimately limiting the missile range. Communication and targeting systems must be resilient to exterior temperatures while facilitating effective signal transmission. Additionally, developing hypersonic cruise missiles requires addressing the complexities of maintaining proper air-fuel mixing for scramjet engines. Successfully overcoming these challenges is crucial to meet the demanding requirement of size, range, and speed, while effectively managing the thermal and aerodynamic intricacies of hypersonic flight. When comparing Tomahawk missiles to modern hypersonic missiles, several factors come into play. Tomahawk missiles, known for their lethality, can overpower the air defense systems of any country when deployed in large numbers. They are also significantly more cost-effective than hypersonic missiles. In conflicts involving military powers like Russia and China, Tomahawks may prove to be a superior option due to their ability to penetrate air defenses effectively. Hypersonic missiles, on the other hand, offer unprecedented speed, traveling at Mach 5 or higher, making interception extremely challenging. This makes them highly suitable for surprise attacks with the potential for massive damage. However, the production cost of hypersonic missiles is considerably higher compared to Tomahawks, with limited availability and development capabilities among countries. A Tomahawk missile costs approximately $2 million, whereas a single hypersonic missile can exceed $106 million. With the same budget, launching 100 Tomahawks becomes feasible, overwhelming any defense system. Although hypersonic missiles have the potential to be a significant deterrent, their high cost and limited availability may limit their widespread use. Modern air defense systems are effective against single or small groups of missiles, but would struggle to counter a large-scale Tomahawk attack. Even advanced systems like the Russian S-400 or the American Patriot would be unable to stop a massive onslaught of Tomahawks. The sole scenarios where hypersonic missiles may provide genuine strategic worth occur when the target's worth importance or replacement time surpasses the potential cost of a $100 million hypersonic missile. However, such instances would be relatively limited, particularly in large-scale conflicts involving nations like China. Hypersonic missiles do possess legitimate wartime applications, but in reality, more affordable, slower, and outdated missiles can often achieve the desired outcome just as effectively, or perhaps even more effectively. So, is the Tomahawk a better choice compared to hypersonic missiles? Despite the emergence of hypersonic missiles, Tomahawk missiles remain relevant, especially for sustained strikes. Their effectiveness and lower cost make them the preferred choice for long-range engagements, even if they are outmatched by hypersonic missiles in terms of capabilities. The Tomahawk missile remains a cornerstone of the U.S. Navy's arsenal, a testament to human ingenuity and technological prowess. Its story speaks of unwavering dedication, of a ceaseless commitment to advancing military capabilities in the face of evolving threats. And so, the legacy of the Tomahawk missile endures, a testament to the power of human imagination and the pursuit of military might. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.